Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the fourth episode of Perch Pro 5. It's day two, right after 12 o'clock, and the teams just had their last phone report of this competition. We're halfway into the competition so far, and Team Sporting are clearly in the lead when it comes to the number point, with 126 perch over amazing 30 centimeters. And when it comes to the top three length, Helix Gunky are in the lead with 124 centimeters. The biggest topwater fish so far was 40 centimeters, caught by CWC fishing team. This means that the Vision Fly Dressing have zero points. Elix Gunky have two points. CWC Fishing Team have one point. Team Sporting have two points. And Fox Rate Salmo have zero points. The margins are small and everything can happen. Now let's roll out the second half of day two and find out who will snatch the two points at the end of the day. Uh, welcome to episode four, Perch Pro 5. I hope uh, you enjoyed our effort in episode three. <laughs> we worked hard for that. But now we're ready to go. We have 10 hours to go from now. And we're really hoping for that uh, big fish pip popper point. Yeah. And we're going to try some different tactics today than from yesterday. Hopefully we'll get some surface action. We're also going to run some, some big streamers, fish very aggressively yeah. on the surface yeah. uh, to see if that is a key. Yeah. to get their attention. Because we're not only after the top war point, we also after the uh, Yeah, we want big fish, fish too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get started. Bow! You go up there? Yeah. I start down here. I think I'm gonna start with the sink three. Fish the deep ledge until we see some surface action and then I'm gonna grab the popper rod. Quicker than Lucky Luke. Uh, we're back at the same shallow point as yesterday. The shallow part of the lake. And the wind is way harder today uh, so we'll see if they're not as spooky as yesterday hopefully not i'm gonna need a fly because that is a good thing to have when you're fly fishing a little fly dryer from vida gear this is a martin's minnow style one with a, a sunker sunker tail it looks a little bit roachy i think the only thing what we have to do now, my friend, is fish hardcore for the big fish because this is the point to gain. Yeah. And, and we have the 40 centimeter on top water. So maybe that's also for a point. So at least we have to beat Gunky today. So welcome back for episode number four. We have a new game plan. And the game plan is uh, to beat uh, Gunky. Because for us, at this moment, sporting is impossible to beat. Root for us, we must do this. Both Vision and CWC are fighting for the big fish and top water point, since none of them believe they have any chance on the numbers. Down in Holland, Vincent and Sylvain are also hammering for the big ones. So we are fishing that, uh, that river system in the south of Holland, and uh, we found some fish uh, power fishing on the, on the shallows, uh, next to the, the spots with uh, current. Uh, so there are fish to be, uh, I mean, to catch with uh, topwater lures, such as popper. And uh, we also did, did have, uh, I mean, quite a good fishing with uh, chatter baits. So we try to find those spots, catch what we can with the popper, do the rest with the chatter bait. And when, it, when we have a, um, a good spot that slow down, then we fish with surf bait slower uh, to catch the, less, uh, the last uh, fish who are remaining. And uh, now we will try uh, a complete different part of the river uh, upstream. I think we should try also the deeper uh, parts of this river system here. We didn't catch a 40 centimeter perch and we uh, have to find them. We only uh, caught 35, 36 centimeters. And I think the deeper parts uh, are also interesting. Maybe we, we can find the perch there. I think the, the smaller perch are hiding in, in the weeds on, on the shallows. Uh, yeah, we have to try deeper water. Team Fox Rate Salmo are changing location to a place more upstream, hoping to find bigger perch. In another Dutch river, Team Elix Ganki are also on the move, looking for fresh hunting grounds. What are you searching for, Fred? Yeah, what we like in this place is that uh, the bottom is uh, dirty, 
It's not flat, on no, no mud, no sand, more rocky place, a little bit of uh, uh, grass, short grass on the bottom. Here you see, in fact, all this dirty bottom, what I call it, it's gravels and, uh, and a lot of up and downs and in every place fish can hide from the stream. So that's a cool place to search for fish. That's good looking yeah. right there. We should stop, yeah, we should give it a try. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Now we are at uh, six and it's coming up. So we are really at the edge. If you anchor here, yeah. I think it's cool. Now we are back at a spot that normally always delivers some decent fish. So we came back, we fished it for a while again and hopefully we get another big one. I'm going to change to the top water, make a yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We have top water action here, so I changed to the popper to see if they're more keen to eat from the surface. Hopefully, today. if if when when the conditions are like this. Yes, I see oh. fish over there. Yeah. Uh, when we test fished here the first day, I caught a 47 centimeter fish on on a popper, uh, and the conditions then were much more like this. Actually, wind from wind. the same direction. Yeah, wind from the same direction. A little bit cloudier, but yeah. yeah. Oh, they're chasing over here like crazy, oh, man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh. oh, fish on right away. Big fish. Yeah, big fish. I lost it. Freaking no. hell. That's awesome, oh, dude. Oh, man. Well, that was one... it on the big fly? Yeah. That was a good fish. Yes, I saw the bend. Yeah. It's a seven... Oh, fish there. Yeah. It's a seven weight saltwater rod I'm running. I mean, that's it's built for big fish and when you... When you bend it like that. Oh, that's a great sign, man. That's the first time we get like instant reaction. Uh, reaction. I just hate when that happens. Yeah. So Vision has this many fish and I'm going to override the thought that... Follower? Yeah, followers. Hey, hey. Get the big one. Point to shape. Well, my tip for vision is try Buster Jerk or Piglet Chad. Okay. <laughs> if they would text me their closest post office, I promise them I could get FedEx a rod and a reel and a bunch of jigs within 24 hours on the house. Well, that's very kind of you, Adam. I'm sure they would appreciate it. The question is, though, whether it might be better if Team Sporting would send you a bunch of G bumps. They seem to be working really great. There's a double trouble. Yeah, this is trouble. Ooh, nice one. That's... <laughs> this one has been bitten. <laughs> Ooh, it's just nice fish. Look at the pattern on this one. It's like uh, old scars or something. What? See? Oh yeah, look like almost like a bass. Yeah. Go back and quick. I think it's going pretty good. We are catching like a... Like crazy. Too many pikes though. I caught uh, seven pike today. The, together, the five biggest together is way over five meter. So like 110, 106, 105. It's crazy. And a ton of perch. We think we soon have enough to secure the number point. And now we're gonna try to running and gun some other spots. I have see if we can find some bigger fish. We need to get some 45 and over that. Small zander, he has eaten the, the slick shad. Definitely not what we are looking for, but a perch of the same size is welcome. I don't know. No, that's not... Yes. Yeah, that's a pike, yeah. yeah. Vincent and Sylvain are struggling to catch the right species, it seems like. Nice pike though, on the chatterbait. Up in North Sweden, Daniel and Stefan are having some other problems. It's summertime in the north of Sweden. Well, as long as it's not CWC or Sporting or anyone, uh, then, then, then it's fine. And as long as they don't run that jet ski all over the place right where we're fishing. Yeah. 
That's how it is. It's not our lake. <laughs> Ooh! Had en enorma borre efter. Okej. Okay. Han kom liksom upp från... Han följt den under. That was a big perch following my fly. I have no idea how big, but it was bigger than the ones we caught yesterday. That sucked. So, uh, one o'clock. It started off good. Stefan lost one big fish and another one. I had a big follower. Zero fish. Zero. Pretty slow first hour after the phone report, but Team Elix Gunky are still hammering for the big ones. Now Mark is going to try some topwater fishing again with a smaller popper this time to see if that can get them going. First cast with a small popper and boom, nice topwater fish on the hook. If it's bigger than 40 centimeters, it will snatch the top water point away from CWC fishing team. Oh, Papa, get off! <laughs> Fred, we are fighting so hard for that top water fish. Yes. And finally, and finally, we have it. Yeah. We make it. So we got some difficulties to uh, get the quality bite on a bigger, on bigger bait. So on this, uh, uh, on this cast, we decide to go downsizing with a chubby popper. Tiny little lure against the wall again. It's very important when you fish uh, top water that you, if you have structure, that you really cast on, on it because very often they chase the bait against the wall. And every time we come to this type of spot, it's very important that you weight the good angle and you make the first cast count. Very often they are there and after they are scared, they swim down on top water, first cast count. Woo -hoo. <laughs> so, yes. how big is she? Uh, 43. Yes. Man, yes. 43 top water bait. Boom! Boom! But it feels so good. Yeah. Fighting all day on that spot, top water fishing. Lost two big fish. And finally, we have it. Whenever you go. <laughs> Red, we make it top water. Slowly, one by one, tank, tank, tank. Good job, Elix Gunke. If the competition would end now, this fish would give them the top water point. Well deserved. CWC fishing team have changed their game plan and are now going all in for the big fish. And now Evit has a huge perch on the hook. Oh man, it came off. I'm really sorry, Evit. Why is it always the big one? Just in front of my feet, a huge perch. But yeah, it's always like that. But uh, <clears throat> minor setback. Well, finally, we found them again, the big ones. And we uh, keep on fishing and try to get another one. Hey, but that's also fishing. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. But every cast can be a winning fish. But man, I feel frustrated now. It's been really quiet for quite a while now. And we had all, got all these jet skis driving around. And it feels like they spooked the fish away. There's been no surface activity. It's been absolutely dead quiet. And they're all over the place, these jet skis. And now they've been away for a while, so hopefully, hopefully, something will happen. Two o'clock and still nothing to show for, not even small fish. This is starting to get really frustrating if our plants is going to be blown away by, by jet skis and water sport. But hey, that's the game, isn't it? Uh, so we've been on the reef for some time, nothing really happening, so we moved on. Uh, further out, so we're just on the drop-off to the deeper water. Now I'm running a really heavy Martin's Minnow 
uh, really green uh, on the Abo kit with the Sing 3 line just to be able to fish the, the drop off uh, all the way down. So we're casting towards it and fishing it uh, following the, the ledge down. We'll see if it works. All of a sudden, explosions everywhere. Whoa! It's so fun to watch. Oh! Whoa! Two fish, killer? Yes! This is something big. Yeah. That's this a is very a big, big fish. fish. Oh, that's a really big fish! Whoa, 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 I hooked into a massive fish. Damn, I hooked into a huge fish. Ooh, this is a big perch. <laughs> Just watch your line at the engine. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that take, it was like a... Like a missile. Uh, yeah, look at Take that. it easy, take it easy. Yeah. We've got all the time in the world. So. <sighs> look at that. That guy is taking line like crazy. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. Oof. It's a massive fish. Yeah. So strong. Here it comes. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Monster. Look at that head. Ooh. That's freaking awesome, man. Look at the head. It looks like a sander. <laughs> I think, Daniel, we might have just done the 50. You might, it's, have, it's you might crazy. have just done the 50. I was hammering. Uh, uh, we're just out on the like a four meter uh, line, and I was hammering a Sing 3 and this guy on the Abu Kit, a Martin's Minnow, really heavy one. I first thought I was stuck in the bottom. That's it. Let's see how long it is. I'm shaking. Yeah. I'm shaking. You can be shaking. Oh, that's one big ass perch. 49. Wow, that's a very, very big perch. Look at that sail. Huge congrats, Daniel. With a 49 centimeters, it's a new personal best in length for Mr. Bergman, which makes it even more fun. Well done. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for words. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh, what a fish. <laughs> oh, that is, that is probably the fish of my life. Yeah. Uh, no, no, we just need a couple more. I mean, we got seven hours left. Yeah. Well, seven hours and 15 minutes. Yeah. So, uh, the game is on. Everything can happen, man. Well done, mate. Thanks. Like Daniel said, nice fish, but they need two more big ones in order for this fish to make a difference in the results. One big perch is not enough. At the moment, Ilix Ganki are in the lead with 132 centimeters, which means an average of 44 centimeters. That's very impressive. Let's see, we have another hour. I have 14, what do you have, Stefan? I have 20 in, t in 10 seconds. Yep, yeah. there is number 20. And that means that we have the astonishing number of 195. Oh, we take five more then, then we leave. We have almost 200 perch in six hours of fishing. In six hours fishing, we have 200, almost 200 perch. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous, actually. Yeah, fish on. What is it? It's a nice under. I think so. Yeah, for five meters, it's a under, my friend. Six. We are oh, six meters. Oh, sorry. Deeper water. Oh, that's a under. Nice, incredible. I think it's not a real problem to catch the zander. You go to four or five meters with a small surf bait, you get them. I try to, to fish the vertical structures, so the action is, is very quick. And uh, that's just about going to the structure, let it fall with a semi-slack line. So if there is a, a bite during the, the falling of the lure, I will, I will feel it and strike. 
And as soon as it touches the bottom, I just do one, two um, turns, and then I cast again. Because the, really the action I want to, to check is from the surface to the bottom along the vertical structure. So it's very important to have accurate cast, give some free line, take it to the bottom slowly, and once it's in the bottom, well, that, that's almost over because I've checked there was no fish along the vertical structure. That's what I'm currently checking because there are a lot of uh, piles, I mean pylons and, and everything, walls, a lot of uh, concrete actually. So that's, uh, I want to check if perch uh, are maybe suspending along those uh, structures or what. Once again, lots of great tips from one of the most well-known anglers in France. And from one Frenchman to another. What are you up to, Fred? Now I'm going to use a riser bait, but a small size, because um, we don't have uh, so much bite, so Mark is using the chubby popper, and I'm going to use a small riser bait. It's a really unique bait. It's really uh, something new. Uh, normally, uh, a pencil bait don't have a lip, and this one got a metal lip, and if you look at the angle, the metal lip will allow your bait to all the time surf on the surface and try to find its way. And that's a unique swimming action for a topwater bait because it's really erratic. You, you cannot control it and you will not twitch or do nothing except that you're gonna read it like if you were, were cranking it. So steady retrieve and then suddenly small acceleration. Da -da, da -da. And then you will see it like escaping, like a, a real bait fish escaping from the predators. So um, it's really unique and really fun to use because you virtually need to do nothing. Just cast, retrieve, small acceleration and that works a lot. Let's try it. Yeah, we just, I just caught my fish, the big one on top water. We reset the camera and uh, Fred make a cast and boom! Check this one out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit tangled in the net. So. Make the measurement. How big is this? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> 45. Now we have the top water point. Yeah. For the, the moment. For the moment on the riser bait. On the riser bait. So different bait, but downsizing. Yeah. You was, give me the trick. That was a you key. give me the trick. Thank <laughs> you, man. Thank <laughs> you. Fred and two, two big fish on top water. water. Today we're awesome. gonna rock it. Yeah, let's get another one. Yes. A new top water top fish caught by Team Ilix Gunky, counting in on 45 centimeters. This one won't be too easy to beat for the other teams. Vision fly dressing are also going for the top water point, but still haven't caught anything on the surface. But they just realized something important about the 49 centimeter perch that Daniel just caught. Not only is that fish Daniel just caught uh, a very important fish for us today, but also if if there should be a draw between two teams in a competition with, say for example, two point sheets, an extra point will be given to the, the team with the, uh, the longest fish. Because of that, um, it's a very important fish in this competition. Oh Whoa. shit! Look at that! Look Whoa. at that! Look at that! Oh, there! Like killer whales. Should we go? Oh, there? they're coming here. Yep. Oh, 
Well, that's the whole stop. Okay. Papa time. Come We're on. gonna. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'm on. Good oh. man. We should fly this thing up back in the game. This might also be a good fly fish. Yeah, it looks like Just it's go in the band. Just hammer it, pop a time. Yeah, it's big yeah, fish. that's a big you fish. Continue fishing. Yes, of course. This is so extremely cool. I can't even control this fish. Yeah, it's a big fish. Give me that. Thanks. Whoa, that's a nice fish. <sighs> awesome, man. That's a big freaking fish, man. Just inhale that fly. That's what we want. We want them to slam our flies like this. <sighs> Beautiful fish. <sighs> Put in that. Let's see if they're still going. It is so intense. Today has just turned from zero to hero. Yeah, this is just too fun. But that was a totally different type of aggression today. Yes. Uh, they were they were coming in one line and hitting everything yeah. in their path. This is what we came for. This is why we are in this lake and this is what it can do. And it can do even worse, I promise you that. Seems like it's over yeah. there. <laughs> so this fish scrapped. Oh, a magic minnow. Yeah, just slaughter it. Okay, let's see. Danish fish were up here. I think my fish will be somewhere around here, 43, 44, hopefully. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, man. So that is 45. Beautiful fish. Let's put him back. <laughs> it was just in time for the three o'clock report. Let's do some math. 94 centimeters. Another 40 plus and we're in the game, man. We're in the game. Uh, Let's go. Three o'clock. Yep. So we have to report it. 43. Yeah. 45. 45. 100. It's uh, 134. 34, yeah. I said, well done. And 45 on top, top water. water. But that was a plan. Yeah, that was so a plan. So far, so good. Yesterday, we are closing up. Yeah. We might do the <laughs> same. <laughs> okay, so let's go. New spot, big fish. With 124 centimeters, Fred and Mark are still holding the big fish point of the day. But the other teams are coming up close behind. Better watch out. Time for the three o'clock report. Still no bigger top fish, so that will be 40, 40 and 39. Oh, big follower, big, 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 giant follower. A, a whole school, a whole school. It's take, take a jig, take a jig. Down, 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 down. Big ones, giant ones. Yeah. Net, net, net. I don't have the net, I don't have the net, I don't have the net. 40. Okay, this is what I'm why I want to go here. This was exactly why I wanted to go here. We have a 41 centimeter fish. Man, we needed that fish, man. We fucking needed that fish. Man, that was good. Ooh. Yes. A whole score. It was like six of them. I knew this place would deliver. I knew it. Keep on hammering, folks. That is what fishing is all about. Oh yeah. Oh man, you fished the cranky, I fished the, the piglet chat. And we'll race hell and schools of perch. <laughs> if that doesn't work out, I'll is, go back on the crank. Are crank. you anchored? Yeah, yeah fish, yeah. fish. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Okay, I'm ready with my jig. Maybe a big one as well. It feels good. Yeah, but you also have followers here. Yeah, big giant. Giant. Okay. Push, now! Jesus, that was a close one. This is a top fish. 
This is a big 40 fish and a big fish in his mouth. Yeah, oh. they're feeding. Cool. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Nice. This is big fish time. Woo! This will bring up some extra points. Oh, nice one. Ooh. This is a 45. Yep, 45. Yes, we are in a deeper passage between uh, the two parts of the lake. Uh, the, there has been caught some big fish here, so uh, we won't catch any numbers here. We will just hammer for a big one now. And uh, there's a shallow area there, a shallow area over there, and then in the middle here it goes down to like eight meters. So we just hope to find a few bigger specimens. I think spotting is going to be difficult to reach when we talk about numbers <laughs> but i'm also a little bit afraid about the fox guys and cwc for the big fish yeah for the three big fish yeah because fox we... can wake up at any time yeah and uh, since sporting seems to be really rocking and no one seems to be able to really match up and steal one point from them if they get three points there it's difficult. It's going to be difficult to beat. The interesting will be to see uh, the vision team. Yeah. Because they, are the, they look like the underdogs this year. You know, it's, uh, I think they have been uh, choosing a different tactics probably and go for big ones. And so they can, be, uh, they can surprise us because you can really do, they are skilled and uh, you can do uh, big fish on fly and i think uh, that's what they are targeting Target. and also top water yeah and not on top water but if they are on big fish they can take them with everything on yeah. fly and, uh, well for that but i think we are doing not so bad oh, 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 oh. come <laughs> on oh. that was cool so we are doing good yep <laughs> First, lo love it so far, we have a plan, we stick to it, uh -huh. and it works, yeah, finally. <laughs> but for today, we need to upgrade to be sure. And I think the, the point that might be safe today is the top water point. Yeah, that could be with the 45. But Sylvain can beat us at any time. Yeah. I mean, top water, a 50 plus in, uh, yeah. in the Netherlands, it can come just like this. Bam. Yeah. It sure sounds like Team Elix Ganki are slowly getting nervous about the other teams. Now CWC are only 8 centimeters behind and Vision Fly Dressing have 94 centimeters with only two fish on the board. If they catch a perch longer than 40 centimeters, they will pass Elix Ganki. At the moment, it's a tight race between Elix Ganki and Sporting, who both have two points each. But since Mark and Fred have the biggest perch on the top water, they currently have three points. Now Sylvain finally has a good sized perch in the boat. Let's have a look at it. 
Uh, so we just uh, got a nice perch on a chatterbait, uh, fishing the, the drop-off, because there is a big shallow area and the current is, is pushing in the main um, canal. So I was fishing the drop-off with the chatterbait, giving some depth, and uh, I got nice bite and, uh, and a nice perch. So 44, yes, a 44. good job. Cool. This is, yeah, uh, fish on. This is exactly the... Also perch, also off. He's off, he's off. No, he's off. no, no, okay. no way. Oh. This is exactly the, the fish we need, but we will need three like that, and that's, oh, that's the point. Oh, look at this. Let's, let it swim. You had one? Yeah, I lost. Was it so. a good size or what? Yes, it was also a good size. So sure. we are on the hot spot now, keep hammering. And I will uh, fish with soft bait instead, because now the position of the boat is not really good. I have anchored, because obviously this is a big, a good spot. But the position of the boat is not optimal with the chatterbait and I'm, I'm sure I can fish slower and, and uh, get a, a better quality of bite on a, on a soft with a better chance of success. So I will try to uh, catch one with that, with a soft. I think big fish aren't in big school. It's not a big school of big fish. No. So it will be one, one here, here, one there. We, move. we will make a drift. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can remember and do it again in a, in a little while. Wow, there are fish everywhere. On like Donkey Kong. It's like a sniper game. Uh, you just sit and wait and all of a sudden they're everywhere and you need to shoot straight very fast. You have like 20 seconds to hit that fish and then they're gone. Oh, some man! That's a smaller, smaller fish. <laughs> right, that's the same fish as I caught yesterday. Did it? Oh, yeah, the one the, the net with guy. net. Okay, so catch and release, guys. He came back to say thank you. That's the, that's the fish I caught yesterday, which were tangled up in the net. And that's our number three. Yeah, yeah we measured him yesterday, so... <laughs> How long was it then? I can't remember, 32 or something. Yeah. Yeah, 32. Yeah. Living proof of catch and release works even after being caught in a net. Have a nice one, mate. That was a tough guy. Yeah. A net and a Dane three times. <laughs> That's... Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so we have 126 centimeters, uh, which is more than Gunke had at the lunch report. But I don't think it's going to cut it in the end. No. We need to swap that 32, 32. fish. Yeah. To out a, to a bigger one. 45 plus. Yeah. If you swap that 32 to 45, at least that will give us 13 centimeters more. Yeah. That'll be a total of 100 and what's that? 41. Yeah. Then we're. That's in, better. Then, then we're in the game, but. This is Catch with Care, the 16 o'clock report. We improved our fish to. 40, 41, and Ebert caught a 45 centimeter fish on the Cranky X deep 6 centimeter, which gives us 126 in total length. We want to spend our last two hours catching two big fish. We want to catch two big fish to replace the 40 and the 41. And we lost one the moment we got here. It was a giant. And I think that if we play our cards right here, we can most certainly get two more fish, two more shots at big fish, I should say. So, we keep on hammering. Keep on hammering. Keep on hammering. Oh, school on the left. Nice school on the left. The pressure is on, and now all the teams are chasing Ilex Ganki and their 134 centimeters in the top. Now Mark is hooked up, and from the look of that rod band, it sure looks like a good sized fish. You might have use for an upgrade soon, guys. Deep throat. There I go. This is perch candy. Bait of glory. Another nice fish. The Deraku. This one will not help, but fun to catch. But it is exactly 40. A little bit more, 40 centimeter. So let's release this one quick. Bye bye. Yes. 
put up new Caesar comp. I was nine for nine before it died. Nine cast, nine fish. Caesar comp is deadly for a perch. They just love it. It's one of my favorite drop shot baits. I just lost one rig, so we will just grab a, a new jig head here. Let's see. I like the red ghost, so I will keep going with that. Whoop! Perch candy. Team Sporting have more or less already secured the number point of the day with more than 200 approved perch and are now trying to improve their top three length fish to get a second point of the day. If they do that, they will have three points after the first two days, which would make them almost impossible to beat for the other teams. But beating Gunky's results of 134 centimeters sure isn't an easy task. All the teams are fighting hard for it though, including CWC. And all of a sudden, Adam hooks into something big. This one might be their ticket to the big fish point of the day. Yo! Fuck yeah, bro! <laughs> Dude! This is also improving fish. Yeah, this absolutely. is 45 at least. My man. Continue to fish, Ivich. Because this one is 45. Yes! Yes! Our second 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah! We got it! So we're drifting this uh, like a big shelf, dropping down, and I flipped out my jig, just a short cast, and wham, 45 centimeter fish. So we're pounding on this place. This is exactly what we need. This is a, this is a raffle. This is breathtaking. I'm so excited. 45, 45, 41. We're in the game, and we're gonna go for the win. Well, congrats, Adam, to a real lunker of a perch. But sadly for you, it would need to be three centimeters longer to beat the length of Ilex Gunky. Close, but no cigar. Okay, so yeah. it's five o'clock. Since we had those two big fish, not much has happened actually. No, then again, we know it can, it, it can happen in a split of a second. Yeah, this is actually quite similar to dry fly fishing. <laughs> uh, like just sit and wait and drink coffee until something happens. But it never does feels like right now. One hour left. We are fishing really hard. These perch eat up my Caesar comp. There's only half left. Nice one. 231 perch. We don't need more to be honest. I don't think somebody catching more than 231 perch. But we need a couple of biggies, but we cannot find them. We've been like 10, 15 different spots now, trying all kinds of different crank, jerks, drop shot, jig fishing. Can't find them. Two cast along the, this boat. Always good along the boat with a small lure. Yeah. Oh, that's strike. Ready? Yeah. It's that's perch. a perch. That's perch. Is it a good one? No. But maybe we take you, the net so for you sure. No. 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 Oh, there are some others too. Ah! <sighs> Last spot. Back to the bridge. Back to the bridge. Resting a few hours. And hopefully uh, we're going to make even bigger one. In the last hour. We target the 50 and that's all we want. Let's do it! Time soon up for Fred and Mark and they're using their last minutes to try to catch an even bigger fish on top water. Now Mark is hooked up to something really strong. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm, on it, I'm fine. Yeah. Put a little bit more brake. Or you cannot. I cannot. I'm Oh, he's on the rocks again. You can feel it. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a good one. It's, it's a 
it's coming onto your face. Yes, yeah, yes, it's a bridge. It's a bridge. It's a bridge. It's a bridge. Yes. Ooh. That's big. I don't know if he helped. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Chubby popper. Yeah. <laughs> you rock, man. <laughs> Let's measure that one. Slowly. Slowly. Took it three times. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, look at this. Yeah, barely hooked. Just Heavy. one hook. <laughs> nope. Oh. 43. 43 again. Not a new top fish. Good job. But awesome. Strike and awesome fight. Yes. It was so cool. Perch fishing on a light tackle, that's fun. Let's release her. Bye bye. Send your mother. <laughs> Man. Yeah, anyway, yes. it was fun. Another one, come on. Yes. Yeah, just one little tip I can give you if you are using small topwater poppers or even very small baits, you have to use thin treble hooks. And for that, you need a very soft rod especially with a very soft tip that is bending nice during the fight so that you don't bend up your hook. But this pepper has enough backbone for big fish, but it really yeah, feathers the fight of the fish very well. So you don't bend up your hooks and you will net those big topwater fish. One more little tip I can give you for topwater fishing is that you have to be really patient because when you see the fish blowing up on your bait and try to eat it, you have to wait a second or half a second because what happens when you see the strike, you are pulling the bait out of the fish's mouth. And if you wait half a second or a second, the fish can really grab your bait and turn and go down. And if you set the hook in that uh, situation, you really get it. Five minutes left and I finally get one on the hop shot. I wanted to see if it was a chance to find fish a little bit deeper to see if we if we could find them. Uh, it is yeah, 34. Yes. So last cast. Yeah, last Let's cast. Make it on the hot spot. I think we are in a good mood to start the day tomorrow. Yeah, we're in a good mood. Oh yeah. fuck it. Yeah, but you were sleeping. Yeah, I, I was talking to you. Yeah, yeah, but you talk too much. Fish <laughs> a little bit. No? Finito. So guys, see you tomorrow on the last day of Perch Pro 5. See you there. So, Team Elix Gunky are off the water. Well done today, guys. Up in North Sweden, Team Sporting have now encountered a problem that might force them off the water too. That ain't the bro. Bye. We're getting some heavy rain and uh, we are hearing thunder on the other side of the mountain here, so we might have to run pretty soon. It's uh, You should have respect for thunder on the water. You are the highest point, and if it strikes, it's your boat. Look this. Joker. This is the water. We ride here. See you guys tomorrow. That's the right decision to make. It's never worth risking your life for a fish. Not too far away, CWC fishing team just got hit by the same weather. I think we have to call it the day. Last, last 20 minutes is uh, not to play with. We got dark clouds yeah. rolling over the hills. A big thunderstorm will come up. We have still 20 minutes of fishing time, but I think it's not worth to die for a perch, even if we have to win. No. So I think we call it a day. I hope we took the big fish point from Gunky. We uh, improved it significantly. With, uh, yeah, really good. Around 10 centimeters. Yeah. So, but we did really well. We caught two yeah. 45 centimeter fish when yeah. we said we went for the big fish. Yeah. We lost a big one. Yeah, but a you really, can't. A really big, a really big one. one. But you can't catch them all. No. But I think we took the number point today from Gunky. That gives us uh, one point. Also, Sporting two points. We one point. And I'm pretty sure because I caught a 40 centimeter on top water today. We take that point. Two points for us. Two points for Sporting. 
yeah. and one point for Gunky, I yeah. guess. We hope so. We hope. That's our prediction. Yeah. Fingers crossed for that one. <laughs> Let's go home, drink coffee, have some dinner. We will. And stow away the cameraman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now CWC, Sporting and Ilex Ganke are all off the water. And still standing are Fox Raid Salmo and Vision Fly Dressing. What is your strategy, Sven? It's one hour left and the fishing is really difficult this afternoon. I don't really know why. Um, so we are trying uh, our best to, to catch a, two missing uh, fish, I mean the big ones we need, but it starts to smell bad. But well, the current is picking up a little bit, so we still, uh, we still have uh, trust in our, in our fishing. Daniel and Stefan are fighting hard for the big fish and top water point and are waiting for a new rage to happen. When all of a sudden, the surface starts to explode. Whoa! The fucking... Do you see them? Just one of these fish uh, can mean the difference between <laughs> failure and one point. It's small margins. Every point means a lot. Yeah, got it. Good, good man. That's ah, a big fish. fish. It's a good fish. Go, go fish, 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 fish. Don't forget about me. I think it's a very good fish I just hooked into. I want Daniel to keep on fishing because there's a load of activity out there. Pop a point, come on, pop a point. Come on, Daniel. Yeah, it's a good fish. Awesome, man. Seems like a good sized fish on the hook for Stefan. The question is now, is it big enough or not? That's definitely an upgrade. There it is. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Beautiful fish. Magic minnow again. That's like the tactic we're running at the moment. Daniel is hitting them with the papa and, and I'll just go for any fish. That's a nice perch for sure. And if it's bigger than 40 centimeters, it will give them the big fish point of the day. Let's look into it. It's probably an eight centimeter something upgrade. I hope so anyway. <laughs> oh, look at oh. that. That's a beauty. Beautiful fish. It's a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this fish might be very important, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's see how, let's see how far it takes us. Uh, touch. And 43. Okay. Look at that. So, 43, that gives us a total of 137. Yeah, 137. Yeah, centimeters in total. Now we're talking. Beauty. Oh, beautiful fish. Let's put it back. Cool. Bye bye, beauty. Great stuff, man. <sighs> Freaking out. It's crazy, folks. With that fish, they swap away their 32 centimeters perch and get an increase of 11 centimeters to a total of 137 centimeters. I'm so sorry, Fred. No big fish points for you guys this day. That's it for the day? Yep. Uh, I think we did well. Yeah, we, we did the best we could, definitely. And we caught some really nice fish. Yeah. And I'm super happy with that. So am I. I mean, the, the, those fish we caught, they have been fantastic. Yeah. It's Couldn't not... do more. No. Hopefully this is enough so we get one point today. Yeah. And hopefully tomorrow we can snatch three good-sized perch and one top water fish. And mm. if we do that... Top water. If, if we do that, if we, if we got one point today, yeah. we might still be in the game yeah. for three points. So uh, let's hopefully. go Let's go back. But we can't do more about it now. Let's go home. Yep. I don't know what to say, uh, Sylvain. We tried so many techniques on different spots, but we didn't find any normal birds, normal size. Um, it's in quite France, normal. Yeah, a 40 in, centimeter. It's quite normal here. Yeah. yeah. In but, France, but uh, we, a normal perch is much more 25. Okay. The 40 is thought to be a, a huge perch. Yeah. And the 50 is a fairy tale. Something we we dream of. Time is off. That was the last cast. 
Difficult. That was yeah. really difficult. So <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, day two of Perch Pro 5 has come to an end and we have a final result. Team Sporting caught a staggering amount of 234 perch crossing the 30 centimeter line, which of course give them the number point. This is a totally crazy number and a record in Perch Pro history. A big round of an applause for them. When it comes down to the big fish point, Elix Ganke had the lead more or less the whole day with an impressive 134 centimeters. But they got beaten in the final hour by Team Vision Flight Dressing, who secured an amazing length of 137 centimeters on the board. Well done, Fly Guys! However, Elix Ganke caught a 45 centimeters lunk around the top water lure, right? which means that they stole the precious top water point from CWC. This results in a total score of 1 point for Vision Fly Dressing, 2 points for Elix Ganke, 0 points for CWC Fishing Team, 2 points for Team Sporting, and 0 points for Fox Rate Samo. Next week, we will enter the third and final exciting day of this competition, which you do not want to miss. Also, don't miss the pre-screening of the final episode at Sporting Tackle Shop in Örebro on Saturday the 6th of October. More information in the video description below. My name is Johan Rue and you're watching Perch Pro 5, The Top Water War. <laughs>